Hello, everybody! Nope. How's it going? Hi, guys! It's Krista from Covering the Bases, and welcome to my holiday haul. I went a little overboard for the holidays. I mean, Black Friday and Cyber Monday probably didn't help the cause of stuff, but whatever. What are we going to do? So I thought I'd make a good video. So I'm actually shooting this video on my blog camera, which is my Sony A7R2. So this is the first time I'm actually filming without the little preview up above. But I could be like out of frame, my hair could look like crap, I could have lipstick on my teeth and like no one would know. Well like you would know, but like I won't know until I edit it. And so let's just hope this like goes well, okay? Is it gonna go well Dixie? Is it gonna go well? She never lets me hold her for this long, this is so exciting. What if we just stay here together? Dixie, I can't believe you're letting me hold you for this long. This is Dixie. She's my cat, obviously. Not somebody else's cat. I just picked up on the side of the street. Okay, now she's ready to... Oh! Let's just get to it. Well, we can start with accessories before clothes. I got these Lancome lipstick crayons. They're matte lipstick, and it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I went out this morning, and I got, like, so many compliments on them, but I can't begin to tell you how much I love them. <laughs> I was like, what are these? And I opened them and I was like, ooh. They come in a ton of different shades and they go on so, so easy. I'm just obsessed with them. And next are these cute Kate Spade earrings. So they're these bow in the front, pearl in the back earrings. That So it's like a little pearl, a little bow in the front and then just in the back part of it. It's just, I don't know, it's different. I really like it. I think these are like an updated version of the trend. And plus they were on sale, so I was like, oh yeah, oh, I'm gonna get them. And here's like the pearl side. So it's great if you want to flip it around the pearl side, it's like the bow is big enough so like it'll hold them up. Moving on with accessories, I have some new shoes to show you. The first pair of shoes I actually bought from Nordstrom, they're Toy Birch. I'm going on a couple of warm weather vacations this month. I'm going to Punta Cana in Jamaica, and so I thought I would need some warm weather sandals, and I just thought these were so cute. They're just these, like, almost gladiator-esque sandals that have these cute little tassels on them. Like, how stinking adorable is that? So I'm really excited to wear these. They fit true to size. I got a size 8, and obviously they're great. Next, I have a couple pairs of shoes for you get it. So these shoes were gifted to me and I love them. I can't wait to wear them. They're so cute. They're just like these brown suede booties that have a nice little heel and then have a little tassel tie around the side. And then because I was so obsessed with these shoes, I then went into the store to see what else they have and I got two other pairs of shoes. So I've been on the hunt for about two years for just like a, a comfortable closed toe, pointy, regular size heel shoe in black and nude. And surprisingly, they're hard to come by. Uh, I think they're easy to come by in the sense that everybody has them. They're hard to come by in the sense that none of them are comfortable. I've even like searched for like Louboutins, Manolo Blahniks, like none of them are like just very comfortable. And that's hard for me because living in the city, like if you don't have good shoes, like you just can't wear them. I saw these. Um, they are the Farrah shoe. And I don't know what it is about them, but I put them on and they are seriously actually so comfortable. Um, so comfortable that I bought them in another color as well. Because it's like once you find good shoes, like that's it. So they don't have like a super high heel and um, the arch is very natural, which I was talking to the girl about. And they're really, really nice there if you're ever looking to go. So here they are in black. And they're very like elegant and classy and they're, I just, I can't start to tell you how comfortable they are for work and just like life and stuff like that, these I needed. It's like I've waited my whole life for this one night. It's gonna be me on the dance floor. And moving on to clothes, um, I wanted to show you guys first this black feather top that I've got from Bloomingdale's. It is by Lucy Paris. So I've been obsessed with this one tippy top for I don't know how many years, however many years I had it. But it was $300 for a white tank top and I was like, who in their right mind? No. So I was so happy when I found this shirt. I actually found a pale nude, I think it looks a little pink, but I could be colorblind. 
um, top that I wore on my blog. I'll link it down below. And I liked it so much that I got it in the same style but in black. So the pink one I have is a little more boxy and shorter. This one's a little more fitted and longer. So I thought we'll just get a little taste of both, but it's so cute. I actually took some pictures at the Waldorf in it earlier today. So you'll see this look soon. But much better than a $300 tank top. Rude. Next I have some J. Crew and J. Crew factory purchases that I would love to show you. I have first off this red silk blouse um, from J. Crew Factory. I got it during their Cyber Monday 50% off sale and it's just, it's really cute. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. Uh, this is it. It's just this little cap sleeve. I got a size 6 and it fits really well. It's stretchy um, and a really nice material. It's thin but not sheer, which is huge. And I think red is starting to become my color. It's very exciting. Also from the factory, actually to go with that red top, I got this sequence pencil skirt. This is so festive and fun for the holidays and it's really, really great for any holiday parties. So this is it. It's super conservative but also like flashy and youthful. Next, this is from J. Crew, the crew itself. It's this black wash plaid Regency coat. And it has these beautiful buttons down the front and on the sleeves as well. It's warm, it has nice pockets, it's long and it fits really well. I got it in a size 6, which is like my normal J. Crew size. And then the final thing from J. Crew is this tan color sweater. It's the classic uh, turtle cable knit turtleneck sweater. I actually wore this underneath the Regency coat and I thought it looked really cute. Um, you can see my pictures on the blog from the plaza where I'm wearing this exact outfit. And it really well went really well together. The next thing I have is this. It's this tank top from Topshop that I got via Nordstrom. I got this for my time in Punta Cana. It is this beaded tank top. Um, it looks short, but the straps are actually long. And it's like, woo, woo. And what's fun about it is that it's sheer underneath. So you can just like see right through. So if you just wear like a nude strapless bra, I think you'll be fine because that's what I tried it on with and it worked out perfectly. It's just fun to play around in. Ooh. Oh. This year to save me from cheer, I'll give it to someone special. Another thing I got from Topshop via Nordstrom is this kind of squiggly stripe dress. And it has these really nice pleats on the front, so it's not like super boxy. And it's just long sleeve, but I roll it up a little bit to make them three quarters. I got it in a US size 8, so it's not like too tight on um, the bum, if you know what I mean. And to finish it out, I just got these two new J. Jill puffer vests. And the first one is this red and black check. I got a size small because they do run a little large. Oh, it has a nice little zipper on the side. Aww. Ooh, it's warm inside. It's nice. You know me and plaid. That's so cute. It's a say, literally the exact same vest, but different colors. And so with that, that is everything in my recent Black Friday, Cyber Monday, holiday, whatever haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you like this video, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be posting more. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.